Hey there friends, Nibs again. I want to get out to the garage real quick and <clears throat> this is something I've been meaning to do for a while now and I figured I would show you guys this little uh, this little tip, this little trick that I do um, that uh, helps me out and you know I don't know a lot of you guys according to my uh, analytics on my channel a lot of you guys are up in my uh, age bracket so I'm sure your eyes are probably in the same type of uh, shape as mine but uh, what I like to do, and I've done this to most of my, uh, I call them powder burner pistols, I guess you'd say, uh, center fire and 22 pistols. Um, and I figured I would uh, do this to my uh, growing air pistol collection as well. But uh, what I what I do, I went to the, the dollar store and they had this bright orange uh, nail polish. And I've had this for... I don't know five or six years now and I've barely even I mean it's still almost full because um, uh, what I do with it is actually um, <clears throat> I'll bring it down to the tabletop here and you can see we'll kind of go through my my collection too that'd be a lot of fun I think uh, so let's see you got everybody in frame there yeah it kind of looks like it so so what I do uh, let me grab this one over here it's probably the least likely to knock everything down is uh, just right on the front post on the back side of it uh, that I would be seeing uh, I put a little tiny dot of that orange nail polish and uh, that's very fluorescent and uh, it really helps when I'm looking down to get a, a, a good picture but also a quick picture sight picture of where that top of that front post is and it helps me line it up in the back <clears throat> uh, very quickly um, so uh, I have my uh, Daisy this is what model 188 188 that's a BB and pellet uh, pistol Bring them all up so so one of the things you want to do when you do do this is you want to have them standing upright not laying on their side so much so that the <clears throat> so that the uh, nail polish will will stay centered on that center post until it gets at least tacky um, but to have my my crossman 1008 um, that's a co2 uh, pellet pistol Crossman model 600, uh, 22 caliber repeater. Crossman model, or actually it's a Hawthorne Montgomery Wards, but it's a Crossman model 130 uh, pump action 22 caliber uh, pistol. This one is a <clears throat> unknown model number Chinese manufacturer, uh, 17, 177 caliber. Um, <clears throat> Actually, it's, a, it's turned out to be a pretty nice pistol. I took it all apart uh, today, and I polished up all the uh, internals on it, and uh, the, really smoothed out the trigger. Uh, has it does have a leather piston seal, and I cleaned that up real good and got that oiled up real good, and it really seems to have made a big difference in the the way that the, the amount of air that that's able to make. Um, so. Here in the middle, I have two uh, Healthway Plainsmans. Those are uh, CO2 BB only pistols, and they take uh, an 8 gram CO2 cartridge rather than a 12 gram. Um, I thought that was going to be a problem, but it's really not. Um, you can actually get a pretty good deal for those 8 gram CO2s on, uh, <clears throat> on Amazon. So, uh, up here in the front is uh, probably the newest gun. Well, maybe that one is. These two are brand new. Um, this is a Crossman, uh, is it 1377? Uh, pump action 177 caliber. They do make this 1322 maybe in uh, for a 22 caliber. Same gun, basically. The only one I didn't paint is this Ruger, uh, Umarex Ruger Mark IV because it has a little fiber optic post in the front already, so it's already got its own orange dot. 
And then finally, uh, the, the Baikal uh, IZH46M. Um, that, I put a little tiny dot on the front of that and that really will help a lot. Um, so black on black on black is, is really tough to see, at least for me. So a little bit of orange gives you a little bit of contrast. So when you look in a, a black bullseye, and then you've got that little orange dye. You can center that right in the center and it's nice to line up in the back here. So <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm not sure how much uh, nail polish costs at the store, three, four bucks a bottle or something like that. But um, if you've got a Dollar General or a Dollar Tree or whatever around your place, uh, more than likely you'll be able to find some. This was actually in the Dollar General, which not everything's a dollar there, but this was actually in their their bargain bin, uh, so they were, must maybe it was a year old or something. I don't know, but <clears throat> so it was literally a dollar uh, plus tax for that bottle. And like I said, I've had that for going on probably four or five or six years now, and uh, it's still that full. So um, <clears throat> I'll probably it'll probably outlast me, but. Anyway, so <laughs> kind of fun little little tip, little uh, quickie for you guys tonight, and a little look at my my ever growing uh, air pistol uh, collection. Kind of cool, kind of fun. Got some old stuff, got some new stuff, got some really uh, high end stuff, um, but they're all fun to shoot. So anyway, um, bring you back up here. Uh, channel's growing great. I'm really happy about that. The uh, we're like one or two away from 1600 so that's pretty cool um, and uh, I really appreciate everybody being on the channel uh, if you like this video uh, like share and subscribe and also hit that notification button so when I do post up new videos you'll get notified and then you'll know but uh, thanks again and have a great day